While young prospects are mastering 15 dribble combo moves in practice, there is a player dominating the European stage with off-ball movement. In this EuroLeague season, Sasha Vizenkov has scored 275 points. To do that, he used only 26 dribbles. Yes, it is not a mistake, I've counted them all and in this video I'm going to show you how exactly Olympiakos' forward is dominating basketball without even dribbling. In steals and Vizenkov leads the league in pretty much everything else. The other MVP candidate Mike James recently tweeted asking how can a player averaging 20 points per game get so open so often? Well, the answer is clear. He never stops moving. And I mean, even the Golden State Warriors would be jealous of these two split actions executed in two seconds. Plus, nowadays, players are much more used to defending on the ball since there are not that many great off-the-ball experts. So in order to score without putting the ball on the hardwood, Vizenkov has mastered three skills to God levels shooting cutting and timing add infinite energy to this list and you get a player who scores 10.6 points per one dribble doesn't get the roll but Vizenkov picks up the pieces disclaimer alert no one could average these numbers without being a proper threat from behind the arc Vizenkov has one of the quickest if not the quickest release in all of Euroleague Olympiakos' motion offense orchestrated by point god Costas Lucas and Thomas Walkup is number one in all continent and because of its efficiency and continuity Continuity, we often see Vizenkov wide open. He doesn't bother to let it fly from a couple of meters behind the line, as his confidence is skying high right from the beginning of the season. He started 3 from 4 against Barcelona and possesses a 46% rate after the first 14 games. Control for Olympiacos. It's Vizenkov. Oh! Impossible shot! Now, 46% means your shooting ability is going to be on every scouting report out there, stay attached is going to be written next to your name, and this creates a huge domino effect. Players are flying to close out to Vizenkov, meaning he sometimes can use one or two dribbles to get closer to the rim and create for himself or others, where he's also excellent at. This is one of those rare occasions you will see Vizenkov dribbling, because other times he will use his shooting threat as bait to get away from your sticky defense. When acting as a screen setter, the Bulgarian utilizes the last second slip more than anyone else. Two minute drought for them. Olympiakos looking to stretch their lead. Vazenkov, the footwork over the top of Meki. Three threes. Such a move works because of how the majority of Euroleague teams defend the pick and roll with the power forward. It's either a one step hedge, which puts the defending four men much higher than Vizenkov and makes him lose sight of him, or a switch, which sounds like the logical solution against Sasha's shooting ability and inability to post up, but creates a perfect environment for slips and miscommunications as a consequence. I find it incredible that everyone in the arena knows Vizenkov is slipping 99% of the screens and he still gets it done. It shows the real power of this element and Sasha's expertise in it. This clip in particular is poetry in motion. Fenerbahce defends the slip well, but he doesn't stop moving, lifts up and uses the quick release to his advantage once again. Zenkov. Wow! Sasha is searing hot already! This is not the only time slips are working in his favor. He loves to set flare screens, even though fake screens would be a more appropriate term here, whenever there is an iso play going on. Faking flares puts the defense in an extremely tough position since the defender up top does not see it coming. Not only does such a small element helps add to Vizenkov's scoring total, but also opens up opportunities for his teammates. As I said, Vizenkov is in constant movement all the time, creating advantages from situations where it seems impossible to do so. Here he saves Lucas from turning the ball over. But let's rewind this and examine the details real quick. Watch the masterful use of the right hand, which pushes Holmes to the opposite side of where Vizenkov is going, separating the two for good. This is a theme in situations where the Greeks' possessions might look in trouble. Vizenkov only needs a second to score. Now, when spectating anyone on Olympiakos playing the 2-2 two two game, we are getting to the point where it looks like Sasha can't make a bad cut. Blink it and you'll miss it. Jordan and Mickey got the full treatment on the strong side here. Tim Schneider forgot about him on the weak side. These could actually be open three-point shots had Vizenkov waited in the corner all the time, but he opts to move when the help defender stares at the ball and creates a guaranteed two points. I'm not sure if he does it on purpose, but even in mismatch situations in the post, here 
refuses to dribble sometimes. No dribble jump shot does the job just fine. Yes, he isn't a big threat there and in the fourth quarter he isn't the number one option like Mike James or Vasily Mitic, but the ball still finds a way to end up in his hands and in the basket. With Nikola Mirotic out for the first part of the season, Sasha Vizenkov has been not only the best power forward in Europe, but also the unofficial MVP of the season. And he has done it with 26 dribbles. Ball is in your court, Nikola. Vizenkov so adept at scoring without a dribble and he turns and stares down the Fenerbahce bench. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment down below and share it to your friends. Help us grow and I'll see you in the next one.